Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, today we've been taking a look at some uh, basic probability. Uh, right now we're going to take a look at uh, Bernoulli trials and uh, some binomial probability. So a Bernoulli trial is a uh, trial where an experiment only has two possible outcomes, a success or a failure. Um, we can apply that to um, pretty much any probability. So for example, um, if we're looking for a dice, if we're looking at a dice roll, and uh, we want a one, we can look at the one as a success and anything else as a failure. And we can say that there's a one six probability of success. And using uh, a, the binomial probability distribution, we can find uh, the probability of getting K successes in N trials when all we have is a success or a failure. So the way to do that is uh, the probability of getting K successes in n trials is n choose k times the probability of success to the k times 1 minus the probability of success to the n minus k. And n choose k is just n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just take a look at some examples of uh, using this binomial probability distribution. Uh, we get, we're given that a teacher gives a test with 20 multiple choice questions with four answers for each question. And uh, each question uh, has a one-fourth chance of getting it right. And we're assuming that the student is guessing and all the questions are independent. And we're asked to figure out the probability that a student guesses eight correct. So we're going to go ahead and plug into our formula using 20 as n, 8 as k, and 1 fourth as p underscore s. Now you're going to need a calculator to uh, go ahead and calculate this all out, otherwise it would be pretty messy. Um, but when you do use your calculator, you get a 0 0.06088867. Or 0 0.061. And this calculated the probability of getting exactly 8 correct of the 20 questions. So we're going to take a look at another one. Um, we're told that there are 50 rolls of the dice, that's five zero rolls of the dice, and we want to get a two exactly ten times in 50 rolls. So we look at getting a 2 as a success and getting any other number as a failure. So there's a 1, 6 possibility of success and a 5, 6 probability of failure. So we're going to go ahead and just plug those in. Uh, again, you're going to need a calculator to uh, multiply this all out because that would be a nightmare to calculate by yourself, but it comes up as a 0.1156. So that's the probability of getting a 2 exactly 10 times. Um, so the last uh, problem we're going to take a look at actually uh, kind of combines um, binomial probability and the uh, probability of at least one that we looked at in the last one. So we're given that uh, eggs lands best serves eggs in a dozen and a half, which is 18 eggs, and 
of all of their eggs are cracked and we want to find out the probability that at least three of the eggs that we buy in a carton of 18 are cracked. So we're going to need some tools um, from the at least one probability calculation and we're going to need to use this uh, binomial distribution. I'm going to erase this so I have a little more space to work. So we have n equals 18 eggs. Probability that the egg is cracked is 3% or 0 0.03. And we're looking for the probability that at least three are cracked. Well, uh, we know from our probabilities of at least one that this is going to be one minus uh, the probability of zero plus the probability of one plus the probability of two being cracked. which means we've simplified our problem into simply finding one minus a bunch of probabilities of success, failure, um, zero successes, one success, and two successes in 18 chances. Um, each of these is, I'm going to write this all out, um, each of these uses this binomial distribution. So for the zero uh, eggs being cracked, um, we're not really going to need to do 18 choose zero because that's just one or 0 0.03 to the zero because that's also one. It's just 0.97, the probability that none are cracked to the 18th. For uh, 1 being cracked, we have 18 choose 1 times 0 0.03 to the 1st times 0 0.97 to the 17th. So the uh, total amount of eggs, we can find out if uh, at least 3 are cracked by uh, finding out if they're, uh, the probability of one being cracked, zero being cracked, and two being cracked, um, you're going to need to go ahead and calculate all these out and then subtract from one. But the final probability is going to be 0 0.0157, which is just a 1.57% chance that all eggs are cracked. Um, so remember, uh, that this binomial uh, probability distribution can only be used if you have Bernoulli trials with two possible outcomes, a success or a failure. But we see that uh, this is really easy to work with um, and we really enjoy calculating the probability when we're dealing with Bernoulli trials. Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.